Hello everyone, JJ here, and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Violet playthrough. If you remember in the last episode, we defeated Atticus, the leader of Team Star's Navi Squad, and Gym Leader Larry of Medali. And in today's episode, once again, we have two separate goals. The first goal, I'm going to travel to Montanavera to challenge the Gym Leader Rhyme. And for my second goal, I'm going to be getting a new team member. Uh, it's time to challenge Iron Treads. I've sort of been dreading it. The first my challenge to Iron Treads in my original playthrough, I kind of lost badly. Uh, so anyway, I have Montanavera uh, marked on the map, and I'm just going to go ahead and make my way to Montanavera. And don't forget, if you're enjoying these uh, episodes, make sure you uh, like, comment, and subscribe, you know? Oh, another thing I want to mention. Uh, off camera, I did a little bit of level grinding in preparation for the episode, and so I got some good new moves on some of our Pokemon. I decided to stop by Glossiato to pick up the fast travel point, because while I don't have business here now, I will in the future, and so having that fast travel point will just, you know, be nice. We made it to Montanavera. Uh, I believe the gym building is just up here. Let's go ahead and make our way over. Now, if I remember right, I think all of these battles are double battles, so let's... Let's put, uh, Igniter and Bombard. Oh, hi, Jacques. Hello, hello, JJ. How goes your treasure hunt? Figured out what you're hunting for yet? Um... Sure have. That's great, look at you, knowing exactly what you're after. Many students choose to make the gym circuit a part of their treasure hunt. It's no easy feat, but even making the attempt is a worthwhile experience. That's why I was waiting here, to make sure you got your homeroom teacher- to know your homeroom teachers got your back. Ooh, lucky egg! This should be handy for your treasure hunt. I hope you keep working on that Pokedex of yours too, since I did make the app and all. That's all for me, just do your best and keep out of danger, okay? Zero promises on the danger part. Let's go ahead and talk to our, uh, gym staffer. Welcome to Montanavera Gym. Let me reach to you as a challenger. Your name is JJ, yes? Gym Leader JJ, I'm sorry. Great, now in order to face the gym leader rhyme, you'll first need to pass the gym test. Here at Montanavera Gym, that means warming up the audience for the main event. That's right, you're the opening act. Your job is to get up on stage and show us some dead fierce Pokemon battles and get the crowd excited before the gym leader's concert begins. You can start the gym test by speaking with MC Sledge in front of the stage outside. Now get up there and have fun. I will. Onward, you know, has anyone ever told you that you look a lot like Moist Critical? <laughs> Hello, MC Sledge. Yo, trainer, you're the one performing the opening act today? My name's MC Sledge. This is the stage right here. Yeah, I could not tell. <laughs> so, so here's the deal. We're gonna have you do some double battles. That's where you have two Pokemon fight on each side. Yep, I predicted right. That'll let you sledge up double the opponents and get the audience twice as excited. If any will be hot... It'll melt through Montanavera snow. Once you get the audience worked up and ready to go, that'll be the cue for our leader to take the stage. That's how you pass your gym test, yo. Your opening act begins as soon as you want to get up on stage. There's no backing down until you win three times in a row, so make sure you're ready. I am more than ready. Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Let's get to battling. Sweet. Just play it by ear and you'll do great. Head up on the stage. Warm up the audience. What's up, Montanavera? Today's opening act will be our back to ba three back to back double battles by our challenger here, JJ. Alright, who am I up against first? A small child. The one and only Toss. Double battles, that means one plus one, right? Can you do that math? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> let's get let's go. Alright, Shuffet, Griever. Let's see. Yep, I leveled up right. Igniter's just, you know, a little over level. And thief. Ooh. Do I one-shot the Griever as well? Shadow Ball. Yep. That was a uneventful double battle. Uh, 
Perhaps I have prepared too much for these battles. All right, who's uh, who's who's battle number two? Cheering got louder. The month in a Vera stage has all the latest tag. The more excited the audience gets, the more the stage will light up. Keep on sledging, you got this. And our challenger's next opponent will be a musician with a bit of a unique style. It's Lonnie. Strong compliments week. The harmony of two Pokemon battling in unison. What you got? Haunter Mr. Vess. Um, this uh, sh should be more of the same. And Thief. Go faster. <laughs> oh, I definitely overprepared. Ooh, Hex. Ow, okay, that hurt a little bit. But, a Dugan. <laughs> but once again, a rather uneventful battle. That wasn't harmony, it was cacophony. Alright, now I think. If I remember right, battle number three is against uh, MC Sledge himself, isn't it? The audience is getting really excited. Your opening acts turn the cheering and the stage lighting up to an 11. What a surprise from our new challenger. Who would have thought they would sledge it up this much? Next is your last moment, none other than me, MC Sledge. Moist critical. Being an MC isn't my only forte, I can battle too. I'll sledge you up real good in double battles. What you got for me? Driftlin Sableye. Um Sableye Torch Song. And then Thief the Driftblim. Okay, good damage. Oh And that's not gonna affect that's only gonna hurt Bombardier. <laughs> Okay then. Torch song. How much is this gonna do? <laughs> okay. Um. All right then. <laughs> it was you who sledged me up. The audience's excitement has reached a fever pitch. Whoa, awesome, that was a great battle. How lucky, What a, that was a rare sight. Thank you, JJ. Congratulations, you passed the gym, t the gym test. Give him a round of applause, everybody. Alright, now let's, uh, where's Rhyme at? Let's get the gym battle going. I feel a scary good sense of unity in the crowd. Perfecto, we're ready to go for the main event. Come on, everybody, say it with me. This is what you've all been waiting for. Give it up for the MC of Rip Rhyme. What's all this noise I'm hearing? This crowd's so loud I could wake the dead. Let me tell you what I want to hear. Y'all feeling good? Yeah, we're feeling good. Thanks for the killer opener, baby. Now I'll get started for real. Congrats on the gym test. That was sick, yo. Thanks. Give us some info for some rhyme time, you feel me? Go ahead and tell the lobby staffer that you passed. I'll do just that. Hang on one moment. Amazing job, JJ. You were a fantastic opening act. That's the gym cleared then. Well done. Now you've earned the right to challenge to the gym leader. Best of luck. 
I already challenged Gym Leader Rhyme, the MC of RIP. Uh-huh. Very well, let me show you to the battle court. Which I'm pretty sure is still just the stage. Yo, yo! Sounds like there might be a rap battle going on on the stage. This is my time, this is my day. And you're not gonna stand in my way. Listen up, Rhyme, your reign ends here. You're gonna get rung up by this broke cashier. Boom, ch boom, ch boom. Pro cashier, we'll have to check out. Must have got your rhymes on deep discount. Please, you think you're gonna step on my game? Fool, I got rhyme right there in my name. I'm a specter from which there is no protector, and victory unto me you will render when the crowd sees your mere pretender. Wanna end my reign? Yeah, keep dreaming. Buy a book of rhymes, kid, and start reading. I'm done, you won. My rhymes totally whiffed. I'll be back maybe next before my next shift. Hold up, where are you going? That's all you got? After my next shift. Seriously, bars over jokes? Come on. That was over way too fast. It gets boring wearing the crown if no one makes me fight to keep it. Hmm? Hey, my opener's back. You here for a rap battle or a gym battle? <laughs> you got jokes. We both know why you're really here. You were captivated by that show I put on, huh? I'll rap what's in my soul, baby, weaving words into a symphony of poetry. Don't try it with me, you won't last one round. I'm like Sableye, my mean look will lock you down. Like that, you feel me? Yes, let's fight. Heh. <laughs> Let's get into it. You're a Pokemon trainer, so battle me and show me who you are. My music's not all that tops the charts. My skills with ghost types are the best around. Let's see what you got, Rhyme. Dead or alive, let's make this a vibe. What do you lead with? Ooh. Okay, Mimikyu might be a little... could be a little difficult to handle. We don't mess around in Montanavera. On my stage, we double battle. Don't let it scare you. I think I... Double into Mimikyu... Um... Mm. See, I'm worried, because I know it has Disguise. Let's see, uh, Bombard's faster so I can break the skies. So sh show us an awesome battle rhyme, and you too, student kid. Pluck. Let's go ahead and break the skies. Slash. Oh, not a fairy move? I see wind. That's gonna slow us down a little bit. Wow, okay. Critical and reduced my speed. Uh, shut up all. Okay. There we go. Nice, totally nailed that Pokemon's weakness without batting an eye. Oh. I... Remember hearing about this, but I never actually like got any of the stat boosts, uh, stat buffs during my uh, first playthrough. Uh, sh Shadow Ball the Bonnet and Igniter, or er, Igniter, Bomber can finish off Mimikyu. Ow! Icy Wind again. That's just annoying. There goes Mimikyu. Shadow Ball. How much is this going to do to it? There we go. Toxtricity. Oh, that's right. Your, uh, that's your Terra. And Houndstone. Wonder Rhymes Pokemon went down. Woo, this is so exciting. 
Actually, two of Fern's Pokemon went down. Once again, we get more attack boosts. Um. Shadow Ball, Toxtricity, and Thief, Toxtricity. This Houndstone could have last respects, and if it does, I'm gonna be. Oop. We get the, the Dancing Grievered. Bunch of Houndstone. There it is! <laughs> it's the meme! When I'm on the mic, even the dead rise up. DJ G Rave over there. Sure <laughs> I love this game sometimes. <laughs> Alright, she's gonna terrestrialize Toxicity and the ghost type. Did I need to double into it? Probably not. Discharge. Oh. Okay. Looks like I'm not doubling it after all. Phantom Force. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for cheering me on. That uh, times two special attack would uh. Okay. <laughs> Um, let's go into uh, Wiggler. Yeah, it's a vibe now. Put your hands up. Accuracy Rose. Okay. Um, so Shadow Ball and I doubt. This attack's necessary, but Iron Tail. Oh. Oh. I don't know why I didn't see this coming. <laughs> but I think I still have the battle no matter what. Uh, Crazy Eyes. Call Snap, a super effective move. That's so tight. Another accuracy boost. Um, Rock Tomb and Iron Tail. Okay. Don't miss Iron. Thank you. And there we go. And with that, we defeated Ryan. Giving up the ghosts, not really my style. I'll let you have this one though, baby. Ha, huh, great battle. Chilling and thrilling. You got Spirit Kid? You earned my gym badge, alright. How about a VIP pass to my next show, too? Sure. With six gym badges, it'll be, it'll be easier to catch Pokemon up to level 50, and I'll listen to what you gotta say, too. I'm feeling so good that I think I'm gonna have to let you have this. Okay. I'm having a hard time reading. I have no idea why. Shadow Ball! Too bad it's over. Make your way back up to my stage sometime. Maybe we'll rap battle instead. Who knows? I'm sure you've got some scary good adventures ahead. I'll be cheering for you later. Is Nomona waiting for me like she does at the end of every gym battle? Oh, no, it's Hassle this time. Greetings once, greetings once more, JJ. I was watching your battle with the gym leader from the sidelines, and I must say, I thought it was simply excellent. Full marks, gold star, extra credit even. Hardly had you sent out Skeletors before you launched your strategy. That unrelenting offensive, the flurry of attacks, what an efficient way to corner the opponent. And what artfully trained Pokemon. Such a vibrant palette of moves. Oh, and I do beg your pardon. I didn't mean to let my emotions run amok like that. Um, in, summary, in summary, I simply wanted to say that you seem to have gotten even stronger. I must admit, I'm eager for you to gather up the gym badges. As a member of the Elite Four, I await the day where you come face me with great anticipation. Or with great anticipation. I cannot read. Oh, but one thing. 
don't let your studies fa uh, fall by the wayside. Um, they they have already. I haven't once stepped foot in the academy ever since the playthrough started. All right, goal number two. I've already set a uh, destination for the Quaking Earth Titan. Let's go ahead and uh, fast travel to Port Homar Nara since it's our closest point. Why, hello there, Iron Treads. Uh, you might notice I'm not getting a phone call from Arvin. And that's because I accidentally triggered it when I was going over to Porto Maranata for um, Kaskarafa's gym test. Um, let's see, where, where did he go? Where, 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 where did he go? Oh, there he is. So, fun Iron Tread story. Recently, I bought my first pack of Pokemon cards in a long time. And, you know, just it was just one pack. And I ended up pulling the Iron Treads EX, which was honestly kind of cool. Anyways, I lost to you during my original playthrough. Uh, I won't lose to you this time. I, I hope. What's up, Iron Treads? Oh, looks like I'm getting a phone call anyways. Oh, Professor Turo. Iron Treads is a Pokemon that came from the great crater of Paldea. I ask that whatever you do, I ask that you do whatever is needed to subdue it for me. With all due caution, of course. Um, it's just a torch song. Knock off. Oh. Ow. Ooh. Yeah, you better run away. I didn't expect it to do that much damage. Okay. Alright, there you are. You're not necessarily hidden. I should have healed. Oh no. The iron the Titan Iron Treads began began eating something. Hi Arvin. JJ, it looks like you found yourself a Titan. Wait, that's the Quaking Earth Titan? Um is is that thing even a Pokemon? Must be trying to get pumped up with that little snack. Time to show that thing what you and me can do. I think if just a uh, just a torch song on its own one shot it, then I think a Terra Torch song will just you know one shot it. I also haven't terrestrialized this episode, and I kind of want to. I'm gonna use the Scoville I caught nearby to seize a real spicy victory. This one's gonna burn. Terrestrialize. Oh. Oh, he hit Skull Villain. Okay, good. <laughs> Had he hit, um, Igniter, Igniter probably would have went down. Torch Song! Good. Good damage. Of course, Torch Song boosts my special attack. Ooh, okay. And <laughs> that was, um, little little anticlimactic um i think i got my revenge for my first playthrough <laughs> that went down really easy you defeated the titan iron treads all right sandwich time arvin Yes, nice going, little buddy. What even was that thing, though? I kind of feel like maybe I've seen it before somewhere. Anyways, or anyway, I bet if we head inside here, we'll find more of that herb mystic it was eating. Let's give this place a once-over before that thing decides to come back. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Talking to some herbs there, Arvin. Is the sour herb mystica, I think it is. Yes, we found it. Here's our little herb. 
You and Arvin found the sour. Okay. I was right. This shape, this sheen, it looks like it'll taste horrible, which means it's gotta be good for you. Yeah, that's, well, sometimes. Now then, let's see, what does the book have to say? Okay, sour herb misca is chock full of nutrients that, that's great for boosting your overall health. It says here that it works wonders when you're tired, physically or mentally. Perks you right up. No time to waste. Let's get some food going. Sounds good. Here at ya, twitcha. Sorry for the wait. Here's a super healthy sandwich that'll perk you right up once you eat it. Plus, as a token of our friendship, here's another Titan badge. Gaze upon it in awe as you eat. And Arvin, I thank you for the thumbnail. Hello, lizard friend. Would you like sandwich? I would love to get my sandwich from a ride on. Come on, Babasta. Food's up. Oh ho ho, would you look at that? Seems like someone's got a proper appetite now. And uh, my Maridon just kind of eats it in one bite. Ooh. Yes, gliding. Um, do I have my jump? I forget. Still doesn't look like it's anywhere close to returning to its battle form. Seems healthy enough, Seems healthy enough physically. Maybe it's got some mental block that's preventing it from, ret from returning it to its true form. A mental block? I read about it in books before. A mental scar, like psychological trauma, you know? I think that's what you call it. We had a terrifying experience in battle and not scared to battle at all. Well, don't worry, I'm sure both that brew and Mabostiff will make a full recovery eventually. How do you feel, Mabostiff? How's that herb mystical working? Uh, no pressure. Well, like it's fair to expect every kind of herb, kind of herbal mystic to have a huge effect, right? It's not like the effect has to be immediate either. Hey, it's okay. Don't worry. JJ and I are gonna make sure you're right as rain. We've got one more herb to go, and I bet it's the best of them all. It's it's just gotta be. All right, JJ. The next stop of our, on our little herb hunt should be the last. We can't lose steam until we're done. Let's keep more momentum. Here we go. Is this, uh, Turo? Hello, JJ. This is Turo. I detect that Mirada has regained more of its original power. If it was jumped into the air, you should try pressing the B button again. It should glide now. You can continue helping him ride on recover. Alright, we're done with our second goal, but we're not done with the episode. You know how we do things. Once we've beaten our Titan, we have to go look for him and catch them. Looks like we found him. Um, let's do a quick save. Alright. Be, be my friend. See if we can just get lucky with the uh, first Pokeball. Why not? Yeet. Lucky. Nope. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's not gonna affect me. Um, I'm gonna come back to you guys once I've caught Iron Treads. Yeah, there we go. Iron Treads was caught. Um, at the moment, I don't have a good nickname for our new friend here, but if you do, feel free to comment it down below, and I might just pick it and shout you out in the next episode. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.